In 2021, my family and I decided to sell everything we own and move to Nazar, Costa Rica. Only until we traveled this beautiful country, we found that we were most drawn south. So we packed it all up and moved once again. This is our story. It's like nature's pudding, so mm. you can see it. Today we're gonna kick it off here at the farmer's market in Juvita. Later this week, we're gonna head to a farmer's market in Dominical, which happens one day a week, and there's gonna be a festival going on. So let's hop right into it. We're gonna get some fish and a bunch of veg. <laughs> I will show you guys what we have here. Chocolate cake, cucumber, basil, green onion, a bunch of little apples, zanahoria, which is carrot, Chinese cabbage, sweet potatoes, really great source of carbs. Oh, oh. Took and moringa and just really great superfoods. Basically like medicinal plants right here. Chocolate covered bananas. Got some rice cakes. Organic quinoa cookies. We are a fan of desserts here in this Williamson household. Multi-grain bread. Sourdough. Absolutely insane. That's our stuff. We are going to unload it, put it in the fridge, and then make some lunch. to prepare lunch right now for my mom and I. We have some leftover meal prep, which I will show you guys right now. Basically an egg casserole right here. I know it doesn't look super appetizing, but it's filled with lots of healthy foods. Friday morning and we are headed over to the farmer's market, the Dominical market. So oh, I love, love, love the farmer's market. So not only do we get our groceries there, but it's also a social event. We see friends there and we've also become friends with a lot of the vendors. And um, yeah, it's, it's really a high point of our week going to the farmer's market. Today's gonna be like a festival. So we're gonna capture some footage and we're really excited. So come on and join us.
products here at the farmer's market, so they're gonna go and talk about it a little bit. This is our Yo Coco. It's our coconut vegan yogurt. It's sugar free, dairy free, gluten free. We have cacao or vanilla. And we just started making these today. So it's granola, our yogurt, in the middle, papaya. We have mango, almonds, and activated walnuts. Nice garnish with some of the local flowers. It's so good. We just bought some of this chocolate yogurt right here. I'm so stoked. Nourish and Flourish, guys. I'm going to put the link to their channel down below. Check it out. Aww. This is our table. Hello. I'd like your new setup. It's really cool. that we like to do is go to San Jose and bulk up on a ton of different foods such as almond butter. So instead of buying one almond butter, we go to San Jose and we get a ton of it. it. Saves us a lot of money and then you have it in bulk for when you need almond butter next and it's definitely not as much of a cost. We also do the same thing with avocado oil. We'll go to San Jose and buy it in bulk. Uh, instead of buying just one, we get a ton. moment it's broken we buy an entire big chicken and we go and bake it and this is cheaper it's organic and we get it here from all the two pans in there but since our oven is broken at the moment we have been resorting to chicken breast organic chicken breast and what we love to do is put it in the instant pot I'll show you guys a picture right here what it looks like and we put some marinade some seasoning in it and it just like melts apart and it's incredible or we'll throw it on the grill so it has this like nice grill mark and it's just so tasty it makes your mouth water <music> here 
at Dominical, and these are the supplements that are available. But honestly, they're not really the best supplements, and that's something that you really want to make sure that has good, good stuff in it. So what I highly recommend is when you move to Costa Rica, bring your supplements with you or use a shipping company. I highly recommend doing that because you want to make sure you got some good stuff, especially when you're supplementing. Alrighty, so we just came back from the farmer's market and some grocery stores and we have all of our food right here that we're about to unload, but let me talk about a few things first. We have some bananas. What we really like to do with our bananas is we freeze them in the freezer and then it's perfect for smoothies and ready to go. When we go to the farmer's market, something that we really like to do is bring a big cooler with us because it's a big drive. This cooler is perfect because we can fit all of our produce in there and we, we know it's gonna stay cold. The fruits and the produce here in Costa Rica does not look like your typical fruits and produce in America. And the reason why is because it's from farms. And so these apples are actually really small, but in America, they might look really shiny and really big, but it's because they don't have chemicals and GMOs in them. So don't be intimidated by your fresh produce. If your lemons and your oranges, they look really funky, just know they came from the earth. Love, 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 our hot sauce and definitely be aware of the hot sauces that you buy. I was just at the grocery store and I was telling my mom, I'm so disgusted by the hot sauces that they were because ending ingredients were ingredients like yellow 50 or red two or whatever. I, those are just kind of made up things, but preservatives and chemicals. So we really love buying our hot sauces locally and the farmer's market is the perfect place to stock up on some really good heat. Think of Sar, our fridge just made everything wet. Like everything was sweating in our fridge. So what we decided to do instead is we would get plastic bags from the store and we would basically seal up the greens and it kept it from getting sweaty. We're not a huge fan of waste over here, but we do reuse our plastic bags and I highly recommend it or if you just find some other bags like on Amazon, that works too. But know that your fridge might sweat. It happened in Asara and down south as well. Oh, and what's this? This? Oh, okay, <laughs> guys. So <laughs> we have been a fan of this cereal. And the reason is because we really like granola and we're just looking at different options and it's perfect if you gotta go and stuff like that. So we've been buying the cereal for a while and my mom just checked the receipt for it and this is like stupidly expensive. It was like 15 bucks for this thing. It's insane. And the reason why it's so much is because things that you import, it's just gonna have an extra import tax on it. So I highly recommend to buy local. Check your receipts, like coconut cream here. It's like seven bucks for like a aluminum can of it. Know that some things are very expensive and some things are cheaper here. And whenever you have fresh produce, I definitely recommend going to the farmer's market and other like more process sort of things you can go to the store for, kind of like this, but we will definitely not be buying this again because it's, it's not worth 15 bucks a box. Okay guys, so this pretty much wraps up this video, touring through some of Costa Rica's farmer's markets and a little grocery store haul as well. I hope you guys got a feel of just shopping around Costa Rica a bit, especially if you're coming from the States or Canada and just wondering what the food scene is here when going grocery shopping. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell so you will never miss a video, and you'll continuously get some updates about Costa Rica on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I love your support. Comment below what kinds of videos you guys would like to see, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!